always uh, a pas de deux. Yeah. Um, which really was very special, like a monologue of a young girl. Um, and no uh, adults are shown in the film. And there is just this girl speaking the whole time, actually not speaking, but just thinking. And um, this is, I think, very, very special and innovative. Jess and Moss. Jess and Moss. As well. Oh, yeah. great. Jess and Moss. With yeah. w no adults and really two, two children who are really in a closed world. Yeah. That was a very fascinating. <coughs> and thing the, the well. images as well. Yes. Um, to come back to Kamataki, from, from the way of telling the story, it is quite, quite similar to, to Jess and Moss. Um, I think when I've seen this film three or four years ago, I wouldn't have liked it. But uh, today, I think that this really is art, and I see I can see film today as an art. Um, and I think this is very important. And um, using very old uh, material for filming and um, different materials for filming, like uh, 60 millimeters, 35 millimeters. Um, without knowing uh, what's coming out of it, um, I think this really is a very, very great thing. And um, yeah, this is also what I want to see in a film that there, that um, the directors and actors um, are, uh, I don't know if brave is the right word. Is it brave? Innovative? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, not afraid to take risks. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, that that um, directors and actors are not afraid uh, afraid to, to take risks um, to um, to do things without knowing if it's uh, if it's suiting what the spectators want to see or not. Um, to try new ways of telling stories, to, to show uh, images, to show people. Um, and I, for, for me, what is very important is what the film makes with me and what, what this film is doing with me and what I feel when I watch this film. And um, there is no um, particular way what, uh, what a film needs to needs to have or something like that Be because there are many ways of, of, of touching 